What? Excuse me, but could you please repeat that? Okay, Maruki's here, but that's not necessarily a problem. They've been in the same scene together before. My question is if this is she placed first, slash is going to nationals or something, or if she is getting, like, kicked from the team because she did so poorly. Now, nothing's been decided as of yet. I think this is going to be a good thing. But at the rate that things are going, Yoshizawa-san's honor status could possibly be revoked. Never mind! Something so serious should, of course, be brought to the attention of both her parents and yourself. And the school guidance counselor, I guess. I've been told that her results at the latest meet were quite laudable. Isn't revoking her status as an honor student a bit of an overreaction on the school's part? Oh yeah, there was that thing about uh, Shujin is, is looking to axe honor students who aren't, like, positively affecting the school's image or something. Like, you can't just be doing well, you have to be doing exceptionally. I understand how you feel, but, well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. They placed! Good for you! She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. Don't get me wrong here. Personally, I think her results are impressive, but... I suppose the argument could be made that if she's going to represent Shujin and receive special treatment, it's not enough. Please don't shoot the messenger here, okay? Uh, this is necessary to guarantee fairness across the entire student body. That little laugh you added makes it seem a lot less like you're the messenger, my dude. It's not as if you've been expelled or the like. Uh, another meet's coming soon. Please try for the results the school wants to see. Oh, she is going to be absolutely killing herself in training then. Sir, putting excessive expectations on Yoshizawa-san will only be to her detriment. Oh my god, a reasonable adult. <laughs> oh, that wasn't at all my intention. I just wanted to give her a little encouragement. Dr. Maruki, please continue serving the student body as counselor and providing support to Yoshizawa-san. This meeting was merely meant to express how the entire faculty will be supporting her. How? That's the reason I had you sit in today, Dr. Maruki. Supporting her. I see. At any rate, that's all I wanted to discuss with you today. Please keep in mind, these changes are all hypothetical, uh, unless Yoshizawa-san doesn't provide better results. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose we should wrap up here. I'm actually a little surprised the scene ended there. I kind of feel like Maruki, Maruki and Kasumi would have continued talking a little bit. Maybe that happened off screen. Maybe I'm not vibing with the writing the same way or something. Meh. Excuse me. Oh, you dropped a thing. What's wrong with Yoshizawa? Didn't she seem off to you? Oh, it's Yoshizawa must have dropped it. That's her charm. Shoot, she's gone. Let's return it after school. We should at least send her a text so she knows where it is. Hmm, maybe I left it in here. Where are you going with this game? Huh? How did Yoshizawa's son handle the news? She seemed pretty downcast. I think it was quite the shock to her. I truly hope this is what finally drives her to succeed. She needs to push herself beyond third place and bring home some stronger results. And soon. Why? Like, I, my best guess is that you're trying to repair Shujin's image, and so having a star athlete or two would be a really good way to do that. Um, this feels a little off to me, though. Vice Principal, I know I've already told you this. But your approach here is going to affect her adversely. 
Don't you remember the snail from Undertale? If you just encourage it over and over again, it explodes or something. Like, it, it, it loses the race. It only wins the race if you give it occasional encouragement and let it do its thing. Trying to motivate her with harsh words is only going to give her more anxiety. Yeah, that basically. Uh, Dr. Maruki, we aren't running a charity. If she's going to receive special treatment, she needs to provide adequate results. She's 15! Let it be a charity! <laughs> Praising her until her head swells may be your idea of therapy, but we can't afford to just butter her up forever. He's the counselor. I think his, his, sorry, I'm looking at the boxes in the background. Are they partly invisible? Oh, no, no, the whiteboard is in front of them. Okay. Sorry. I think the counselor's definition of therapy is going to be more accurate than yours. We took in those sisters to improve Shujin's standing, but at this rate, we're only going to end up suffering for it. Hey, her sister came up again. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other one's not doing us any good. Huh. Talk about a waste of effort. Children are not an investment, you fucking asshole. <sighs> Sir. So, uh, pardon me, but there's no denying. First with Mr. Kamishita, now the principal's death. We've got our backs to the wall here. Huh. If this school doesn't bounce back soon, even my own ass will be on the line. That'll be all. Excuse me. Uh, Ron. I'm not gonna lie, I half wanted her to just stay there. I just cannot understand. Like, ah, he's taking his leave? Hello, sir. Would you like to talk to me about something? Anyway, to be honest, I'm fed up with how happy people have been acting. Stealing hearts, social, social reform, don't give me this phantom thieves nonsense. It's all so unscientific. I mean, it would be if there wasn't literally a field of science dedicated to it. Like, I get the sense that cognitive science is like a generally secret field. There are literally papers being written, but it's not something that the vast majority of people are even aware of, let alone know that they can just go look it up. I mean, how could they target Big Bang Burger and Okamura Foods? They're criminals. I mean, yes, they're criminals. That's why we can target them. Yes, I know that's not what he's saying, but it's a way to read it. That artificially consummate flavor, enough volume to fill a small universe. Are the Phantom Thieves trying to steal the galaxy of junk food from me? You. We shall replace it with the meat dimension. That said, I'm a Miyakun. Perhaps you think you understand how vast the universe is, full of countless galaxies, but consider this. I mean, the universe is really goddamn big. If we use three watermelons in the sun to visualize certain matter's size against the universes, what are the melons? Okay, whenever you're doing something this absurd, it's basically going to be atoms or the nucleus of an atom or something, but what, what did he just say? Visualize a certain matter's size against the universe. Three watermelons in the sun to visualize matter's size against the universe. I don't think that works. Because the universe is insanely big. Is it stars? I have no idea what the hell this is saying. This is it. <laughs> That's it. Ha, I expected as much from you. It's meant to convey the density of stars in the vastness of space. Oh, oh okay, so three normal-sized watermelons inside of the volume of the sun is the density of stars in space in the universe. Okay, I can follow that. God, that was a weird metaphor. Three bees in the whole of Europe also works. In other words, the universe is essentially empty. There are countless stars in the sky, but the universe is even more vast than that. 
and the universe itself is then more vast than we are able to see because of the cosmic event horizon. Even within our own galaxy, the stars are, are separated by a great distance, despite the sheer volume of them visible. Nice going. I'm not just smart, I'm erudite. Close, but yet so, but yet far. <laughs> you could say the same of our hearts. Ah, funny he knew the places we've been. Is this a plot point? Like, uh, it does make for more interesting conversations, but her phone is acting up every time we contact her. And you found my good luck charm, right? Can we meet up? Odaiba, in front of the stadium. Where we met before. Oh, hey, it's coming back. Who would have thought? She's at the stadium? Senpai, sorry, I can't hear you. She's training, isn't she? I guess her signal cut out. I couldn't hear everything, but it seems like she's at the stadium. She seemed to be acting unusually this morning, too. Do you think something happened? I'm worried about her. Me too. When we met her there last time, she did mention that she goes there when she's depressed. Well, let's see how she's doing when we drop off her good luck charm. To Odaiba, right? No connection. We should have gotten this thing replaced already. I'm so useless. I do nothing but cause trouble for Senpai. And even Dr. Maruki. I'm supposed to be THE Kasumi Yoshizawa. Come on, I wanna get a parfait. Yeah, yeah, just a sec. I'm looking up a spot right now. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. My sister loved parfaits. Oh, you've gotten us totally lost. I don't recognize any of these places. What's that building even supposed to be, anyway? Uh, the Rhythmic Gymnastics World Championships building, apparently. Uh, I think they're building some kind of convention center. Or was it a research lab? What's it matter, anyway? <sighs> it's not a lab. It's a stadium. Hmm? Hmm. Huh? Full-on anime cutscene? Okay. <sighs> oh. Beginning navigation. What? Is that... <gasps> so it is a research lab, I think. And it looks like it's trying to be a biblically correct angel. What the? Uh, Mona, maybe hide for a little bit. This atmosphere... Is this a palace? I mean, I really hope so, given what we just saw. But we never activated the nav. Wait, do you think it was Yoshizawa? Could Kasumi have the nav? It's a possibility. She wasn't anywhere near us when we slipped into this palace. God damn it, Igor! She can't fight like we do. We have to find her, fast. I mean... We don't know that she fights like we do, or we don't know that she can fight like we do. We also didn't know that she had the nav until 10 seconds ago. First, we need a way into that huge thing. Let's go. The area heading down past these gates seems suspicious to me. Let's go, Joker. So, uh... Oh... Wait, 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 I'm going to avoid saying anything, but I want 
to work through this. Yeah. Yeah, I think I follow uh, Kasumi's phone there. They're probably going to blame her nav activating on her phone acting up. Okay. It's not that subtle if you realize what to look for, but it is kind of fun that they're they're trying to make it uh, a mystery. What what's going on? It's somewhere. Oh. Hello, humanoid figure. I'm expecting there's gonna be like one fight here. South. Okay. Trying to see what hints they might be dropping. So I suppose, actually, let me wait until I see if they're going to talk or not. Okay. So I suppose this is where Royal really starts showing its hand as being something different and more than the base game. Because, like, so a couple of minor mechanical changes or adjustments to how the game works is one thing. Adding in an entire palace means we are going to come to this palace eventually. And that's an entire extra story arc at that point. I don't think Yoshizawa is here. Can we get any further in? Mm. That door might be our only option. Well, let's go check it out. Pigeons. Hey, they added some general environmental stuff to, to the palace. Yay. Okay, feathers is an entire motif by the looks of it. Why? Okay. Happiness, cognitive science. Basic cognitive science. Another happiness, cognitive science, but a different poster. And if I could read Japanese, some of this might say cognitive science, I think. Okay, well, let's move on, I guess. Nothing over there. Realistically, this is going to be this is going to be very narrative focused, I think. There we go. I'm not really expecting to, there to be much, if anything, in the way of fights. I just want to explore ho however I can. Okay, could get over that one. Who's there? Was that Yoshizawa? Is that a heart motif? It doesn't look like it's measuring beat exactly. Maybe emotional stress or something. Let's move. Yeah. Stay on guard though. That's not how that works. <laughs> Why? How are you here? Hello, girl who looks strangely close to Kasumi in a uh, rhythmic, uh, was it rhythmic gymnastics outfit? Who's that? Is she a cognitive being? Uh, her eyes were yellow, I think. I suppose she would need to be cognitive being, actually. She couldn't be a shadow, I don't think. Trouble. Heresy. You 
dare to spurn our Lord's mercy? Are you alright, Yoshizawa? Don't remember that shadow, and also, uh, can't help but notice the haircut on the untransformed shadow version. We came to save you. Uh, boys. Senpai? Damn, we suck at this secret identity thing. <laughs> Looks like that thing's ready to rumble. Accept yourself. Our lord laments the foolishness birthed from your pain. What are you talking about? I heard the school moved her exam period. It must be nice getting perks like that. Where are these voices? Her whole I'm not bothered routine really pisses me off sometimes. Getting special treatment is like, like whatever if it's deserved. But do you think she's earned it? I understand how you feel, but well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. So what, do you hear the echoes of your trauma here or something? Not only have we lost one, but the other one's not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. I've had enough of this. Yoshizawa? You're telling me I'm not cutting it? As if I don't know that better than anyone! Still, I don't care what anyone says about me. I will not tolerate anyone speaking ill of our dream! <laughs> it's all in your best interest. Filling my life with this pressure. Demanding the results that you want. Yoshizawa? Could she be? And now you're all branding me a failure? Let me remind you who you're talking to. I am. I am. Kasumi Yoshizawa! So adamant. <laughs> Glad of an acceptable from Cinders. <laughs> You strive towards splendor. You know the risk. Well, if those really are the shoes you've chosen, then we'll dance to the end. This has got to be. That's a little different. Because she's fucking Sailor Moon, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Look at that! I am thou. Thou art I. Accept this contract. The spell cast upon you. I request we have a rematch. This time, I'm going all in with Sandrion. I guess that's how you pronounce that name. We'll show you the way to do this. Nothing too reckless, okay? I'm going to guess she's curse-based. Less. Okay. And if I do, uh, I'll try and look at like her stats or something. Oh, there we go. Faith, increased chance of ally not being downed when attacked. Oh. Okay. You also have apt pupil, increased chance of critical. I forgot that was a thing. Can I get that on more on Morgana by any chance? And it's seventy-five. <laughs> Our entire party is, let up, is under level 50 at the moment. At level 75, you get Colossal Physical to one foe, high chance of a crit. Nice! Is that an upgrade to Miracle Punch, actually? I need to check that. I need to check that, I think. You're a little bit more strength than magic, actually. I didn't expect that. Uh, you're fast. 
So you're fast and you hit hard, but you don't have much health. Okay. And you are level 43. Okay. I didn't see the level until right now. Oh, try a medium blast one. Oh my god, I can't believe it's weak to blast. High chance of crit. I need to check that against Swords Dance or whatever it was, because if that's also a high chance with crit, then that's colossal. Then that's colossal or severe or whatever it is with the high chance versus medium. So it would be the upgrade version. Probably resist fire then, or mist. Okay, who's got bless? God, that's so silly. <laughs> What's magic ability do again? All magic up by 25%. Okay. I can get rid of these two pretty easily. It's just... Uh, weird. Hama. Uh, we got Megiddo now if we need. Someone's got Bless. Yeah, Makoga. Okay, that works. Anyone else? No. All out. And back to you. Woo, that's actually really good. <laughs> I I did look this up between uh, recording sessions. Strength rank eight takes like level 46 or 45 or something, I think. Strength rank nine takes level 49. Strength rank 10 takes level 51. So this now allows us to get, to, to get up to strength rank nine. And with the next Mementos grind, that might actually be able to get us to 51. Leveled up. Didn't realize we're that close. <sighs> hey, are you all right? I can't be weak anymore. <sighs> Whoa, I'm quite impressed considering how you just awakened to your persona and all. Yeah, people are normally like half dead after that. I don't think her willpowering through that is necessarily a good thing. Senpai, right? Yep. I knew it. By the way, why are we dressed like this now? You're questioning that before the cat? Yeah, sure. Here he is, eh? Well, of course. This has to be awfully confusing for her. Looks like they found us. Time to get out of here, quick. Follow my lead. Right. Oh, we're back at... Huh? My clothes changed back to normal, too. Yeah, your legs are covered again. I I still understand why her outfit is like the is like the uh, unitard, leotard. I don't quite know the difference in this case, but it is kind of fu funny to me that she is the one that transforms and is actually, I think, showing more skin than her usual outfit. Like An's outfit is skin tight, but it's also still covering her. This was your location before you entered the metaverse. We all just came back. Came back? Once again, not questioning the cat quite yet. Did we go somewhere? Uh, about that. Please, tell me anything you might know about what's going on. No, we haven't met you in the tutorial yet. I need to know what just happened to me. I know how you feel, but what should we do? Let's tell her. 
Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll tell you everything from the beginning. Thank you. You are really not questioning the talking cat or the monster cat. You are just taking this in stride. The metaverse. The palaces and personas. I'm sure it's not easy to wrap your head around all of this in one go. Normally I wouldn't believe any of that, but after seeing it all for myself... But wow, you're so good at explaining things, Mr. Kitty. I'll let that last part slide this time. But isn't there something else that should be surprising you? Huh? A cat's talking? There you go. It took you long enough, and I am not a cat. I am Morgana. I see. Well, since you seem to know a lot more about this than I do, maybe I should call you Morgana, senpai. Oh, that's right. Don't you have something for her? Oh, yeah, 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 we do. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. He dropped this earlier. You came all this way to return this? Thank you so much. I feel like that should then transform, due to her cognition of it, in the metaverse into something that's like a super powerful item, like invuln for the entire party or something. Invulnerability, my apologies. You didn't seem your usual self this morning. Did something happen? Well, I didn't get a chance to tell you yet, but I got third place in the last meet. Of course I'm not happy about it, but it looks like the school is even more displeased. I was summoned to the guidance office this morning. I was warned that the school might revoke my honor status if I don't improve my results soon. It would be due to my own inability to succeed in gymnastics, so... I have to say it's not an unfair consequence, but I also overheard the vice principal talking about how I'm a useless waste of effort. And I dragged Dr. Maruki into this mess too, since he was with me when I got the news. That's what really got to me. That's a tough break. So I ended up coming here. And then all of a sudden I was in that place we just left. But I'll be just fine now. I feel like whatever happened in there helped me to get over it. I'm going to realize my dream for sure. Seems like you really are on the up and up now. But then again, how did Yoshizawa end up finding a palace in the first place? It sounds like it was pure coincidence based on what she's told us. An app? Uh, her smartphone, perhaps? What about my phone? Well, I suppose that makes the most sense. Hey, do you mind if we take a quick look at your phone? If the nav's on there, we'd be able to tell whose palace that was with the search history. Sure, it's right. Sorry, this won't do any good. Why's that? The battery's dead. It's been acting up for a while now, so that could have something to do with it. Oh, really? Shouldn't you get that checked out? Well, it's not like that was a palace we've been after, so I guess it's no big deal. <laughs> What? Yes, it is. It is an active palace. It exists. That means that we know there is someone with corrupt desires. And the game's not going to acknowledge this, but that scenery also talked quite a bit about cognitive science, which which wraps into the main story quite a bit. Hmm. We couldn't make its ruler our target unless we reached a unanimous decision anyway. Yeah, but like... Focusing on figuring out who the ruler is seems like a very good plan at this moment. We don't have another target. Okay, I've been meaning to ask. Are you two part of the Phantom Thieves? Shit, she's on to us. Um, well, uh, we're... You are, aren't you? That's right. I knew it. Wait, that means when we were at the cafe with the catchy son. Hey, continuity. I basically told the Phantom Thieves themselves that I don't agree with what they're doing. Only their leader. <sighs> I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. With that out of the way, what's your call? That cost me. 
That's right. Considering how she did back there, don't you think she'd make a worthy addition to the Phantom Thieves? Nah, in the tutorial, we were at an area we haven't gotten to yet, and she still wasn't part of the team, apparently. So, you mean you want me to join the Phantom Thieves? Oh, probably gonna reject based on her own morals or something? In a nutshell, yeah. You've awakened to your persona, you're aware of the existence of palaces, and from the looks of things, you've got quite the potential. If you're willing to join us, we'd be glad to have you. I see. Hmm. You don't have to give us an answer right now. I mean, you probably shouldn't make any decisions until you learn more about what it is we're actually doing. Thank you, but... I'm sorry, I have to turn down your offer. Cool. So we'll head home for now and... Wait. What? When I awakened to my... Uh, persona, was it? I also realized something. I can't keep obsessing over my shortcomings in gymnastics like this. So that's why I can't join you at the moment. Because you can't obsess over your shortcomings? How does that track? Because you need to focus on your gymnastics. I'm truly sorry to say no after all you've done for me. Not entirely sure that tracks with what she literally just said, but it is in keeping with her character thus far, so whatever. That's like you, Kasumi. Thank you. But I think I'd only cause you all more trouble if I were to join up without being totally invested in it. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you in the next story arc. Of course, I won't say a word about this to anyone. I'm glad you catch on so quickly. Well, if you ever change your mind about us, just let us know, okay? Thank you, Morgana-senpai. If that ever happens, I'll get in touch right away. Yes. I should extend the same gratitude to you as well, senpai. I swear, one day I will repay you for helping me out in so many ways. Shall we get going? Quite a lot's happened today, but I have a feeling I'll try harder than ever before, starting tomorrow. I'm glad to hear it. Well, see you later. Mm. I didn't expect even Yoshizawa to gain a persona. We ended up saving her, but I don't think she owes us or she owes us or anything. I mean. That said, she'd definitely be a huge help if she joined us. Hey. Another box came for you. Not sure why we weren't at the entrance already, but whatever. Shopping program, and we're back up here, okay. I did order from Shady Commodities, right? I, there's so much on my mind, I can't concentrate. Let's make infiltration tools some other time. Oh. Yeah, we'll lock the own gun. Let's go to bed. Yoshi's Alice thing and everything that I, and everything else that happened today. I'm beat. Let's just go to sleep. Let me use the phone! Let me get Kawakami's special massage. Mm. I wonder if Yoshizawa is alright. No. There is no way she is alright. I'm concerned I'm concerned about Okamura too, but let's sleep for tonight. I'll just add this. And save. Well, let's call it name go to bed. Yo, Igor, I got some questions. Oh, Maria Senpai, I'm sorry for messaging you so late. My phone's battery finally recharged, so I wanted to thank you while I could. You don't have to be so polite. It's just the decent thing to do. I just wanted to thank you for today. I'm sorry that I'm sorry the thanks are all I can offer right now. I'll definitely make it up to you eventually. I'll be waiting. I'm glad. I promise it'll be worth the wait. Can you please tell us about the nav? I'll have my phone fixed as soon as possible. Please let Morgana Senpai know as well. It would be absolutely hilarious if we needed to fix her phone or even had the option to fix her phone and it required like rank five proficiency and I don't know, like 50 tin clasps, tin clasps or something. Cause I'm pretty sure I could do it. And this game is not structured in such a way that that's likely to be a, to be an option. Anyway, I hope you have a good night. Mm. Funny how she's all would join the Phantom Thieves. What a shame. Nothing we can. Maybe we can ask her again. I mean, 
I seriously doubt her answer will ever change. She obviously answered without any hesitation whatsoever. So, how are we going to break it to the others? Uh, we tell them that she's a Persona user who didn't want to join us, and she has a black mask, so don't think too ill of her if you see her in a palace and think for a moment that she's causing mental shutdowns. So everyone's comments used to be so encouraging, but now they're actually kind of frightening. This is utter chaos. Public dislike of Okamura has grown exponentially as well. How are you holding up, Haru? We've been receiving anonymous threats almost every day now. That's scary. But our security is tight, so it's been okay so far. I believe things will calm down once we finish this, Haru. What about us? Are we just going to get all popular and shit again? Are we, gonna get, are we going to get all popular and shit again? Did we stop? Let us, let us not concern ourselves with that for now. I only pray that things calm down. Hey, by the way, there's another Persona user. She goes to our school, but she didn't want to join up with us right now. Don't worry, I'll tell you about it later. <sighs> Guess we still have some of our own problems to hash out. We could do more harm than help if we brought it up at this point. Maybe we'll just stay quiet about Yoshizawa for now. Eh, I don't fully follow that. <laughs> 